Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a pride look as I promised and it's going to be easy and quick and fun. We're just starting out with an Indie Lee tinted uh, mineral primer. This is a zinc mineral SPF 50 glowy dewy sort of primer. I'm just taking off my eye jellies first and then we're going to apply that with a uh, flat brush from AOA Studio. Wow, the last part of that last bit, I sounded really um, unenthusiastic. I'm sorry about that. I am kind of clogged up because I have some allergies going on. And I just keep sneezing, so. Sorry. All right, now that we're prepped and primed, I'm going to take this Ula Henriksen CC stick in the, I think this is banana. And I just use this as a corrector kind of around my eyes or anywhere that's red or kind of like discolored. It's very glowy, very sheer, kind of a prep step. I actually got this product because of Tati Westbrook, so I will link her channel here. She definitely inspired me to get that product. Now I'm going to try something that I saw an artist do while I was working, and that is to mix the Chantecaille Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer with a couple drops of oil. And I didn't have the oil she was using, but I'm just going to use the Augustina Spotter Facial Oil, and I just used two drops and about a dime size worth of tinted moisturizer, and I'm just going to work that in with the same brush we used for the primer. Okay, so the foundation is all blended in. This is like as much foundation really as I'm gonna do today or base, just evening everything out. And I think it looks really nice, very easy, very simple, glowy. Um, I would highly recommend if you like a glowy natural finish. Okay, so we're gonna keep this simple, like I said. So these Beauty Creations bases are awesome. I'm just gonna take them on a palette in the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk for my white. And I'm just gonna use these primary colors mixed together and separated, obviously, to kind of make this rainbowy sort of look. And I'm gonna keep the, the lighter colors towards the inside of the eye and the darker colors towards the outside of the eye. Um, I started with yellow, and then I just mixed some blue with the yellow to make green. Then I did the blue by itself. Then I mixed the blue with the red to make purple. Then I did the red by itself to make a wing. And then I eventually mixed the red and the yellow to make orange. And then I did kind of a white towards the inner corner. So that was my process. This was a really, really fun look to make. Um, any rainbow look really is. I think it's just about being, you know, fun and creative. And I liked it to be kind of painterly whenever I do these sort of pride looks, like painty and sort of messy. And I really don't care if it gets kind of like um, creasy on the eye and things like that, because I think it just looks cooler that way, like almost like a oil painting or like a watercolor painting, kind of like melting a little bit. So yeah enjoy the look and i hope that if you try it that you will tag me i am on instagram my name is violet bleeding heart h-a-r-t and now i'm just going to finish the face this is so natural um by mac and it's one of their glow play blushes i'm just gonna take it with one of the puffs i got from amazon i've been really liking this as an application method for cream and liquid products lately which is really weird but it's again another thing i got kind of from tati and other people on tiktok and instagram and i really like it it, it applies things really soft and very skin like so i really enjoy that technique actually This is literally such an easy look. I'm just gonna take this got to be edges and brow tamer gel and go through my brows. If you're worried about it creasing, you can set it with shadow if you want to. Um, or I just took a brush and kind of got rid of it as it 
creased and then um, I set my lid with a little bit of a shimmery shadow. So I'm just taking uh, that brush and cleaning up around the edges and blending a little bit. Everything's still, I haven't powdered anything and I didn't end up using any face powder at all. Um, I just wanted this to be a really glowy, natural skin sort of look. So I think when you do um, a lot of color on the eye, sometimes it's good to have a nude lip or do a really light skin. That way it kind of balances out the look and it's not so heavy looking. I ended up putting on like a black lipstick, so you do you, but um, you can do it either way. This is Ivy, I believe, from the Nikki Tutorials palette. I'm just using a shimmery shadow to kind of set the lid and make it a little bit shimmery. If you want lashes, of course, use lashes. I just um, went in with my mascara, which was the F Proof Mascara by Jeffree Star and loaded up my lashes on the top and on the bottom. It makes a really big difference. Um, the black is just really a good um, stark contrast between the colors and it kind of helps the colors to pop a little bit more just so it looks more cohesive and less chaotic, you know, kind of ties it all together. Here I'm just kind of showing mascara with and without so that you can see what that looks like and then mascara on both sides. I think it looks really good with just mascara if you, you know, like it like that. I really like that. This is the COSRX Lip Plump I'm using to prep my lips and the COSRX Vitamin E um, non-tinted sunscreen I used before my tinted sunscreens to get my neck and everywhere. Um, that's what I used before the makeup. I'm just uh, blotting my lips now of that lip prep so that we can go in with some MAC Prep and Prime Lip. I'm gonna kind of pat that in a little bit and let it dry down a bit so it gets tacky. And then we're gonna go in with a black lipstick from Teen Hearts, uh, which I did a video on, I'll link it here, um, bashing them. <laughs> um, it was a whole saga, I'll link the playlist, but um, yeah. Basically, I ended up getting them. They are really nice, actually, so. I also find that outlining your lips first and drawing from the corners inward um, is just the best way to apply a really dramatic color like this. And then I'm just showing everybody the final look. I hope you guys like this pride look. This is very simple. I feel like you could do this with just a few products. Um, showcasing my Disney... Uh, pride stuff that we got this year. Nick got us um, a couple of pride shirts from Disney and I think that they're so cute. So go out and support Disney and support pride and get you some beautiful products. And I hope you like this look. Please subscribe, become a bleeding heart, become a member of our family here on YouTube. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Please like and subscribe. And I Hope you enjoyed the ride. And this is me just showing you what it looks like with a neutral lip too, which is really pretty too. I think this is really wearable and really easy to do, so bye. I did end up shortening the wing as well, just so everyone knows I'm not deranged. Happy Pride, bye.